welcome Coronacation to day 66. How you doing, Andrew? I am fantastic. You are? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm excited doing, for you. I'm doing great. Here, but not here. You know? Uh, I know. They don't know. Yeah. But for now, we need to get started. We're learning all about determination. Mm. And Andrew, I thought it could be a good idea for us to share maybe some things that we didn't give up on. Things that we worked on even maybe when we were young kids that okay. we are so glad that we continued what we started so we could just share those back and forth why don't you go first okay so like i have a game for this you you, you told me that that we were going to be doing this give me a little heads up we're going to be talking about this okay so i decided you know you've been can i show them real quick like corey when we plan these videos out he uses these post-it notes you know and they stick together. Yeah. You know, you see where I'm going with this? Trying they, to make a plan. They so stick together. I don't know where you're going. You know, in <laughs> determination, you stick with something. Yeah, and so I got these post-it notes, and I thought that we could write things down that we've done and stick it to each other's face and cover each other's face up. Okay. So, like, well, I'm okay with playing this because I think I've stuck with more things than you have. Oh, yeah? All right. Determination. You go first. Oh no, I think we should go at the same time. Okay. It could be like a race and I could destroy you. Okay, so. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta count up. This is good. Okay. Um, six, five, four, three, in, in, uh, two, one, go. I put edit videos. I'm very glad I didn't give up on that because it was a new thing to learn. Uh, <laughs> what'd you put? Oh, guitar? Guitar. Yeah. I put learn to read. Um, parenting. I haven't given up yet. Oh, that's nice. I'm writing, uh, reading the Bible, because like there's so much good stuff there. <laughs> uh, faster than you. Riding a bike! I'm so glad I oh, didn't give good. up on that one. Graphic design. Uh, uh, um, marriage. I put swim. I, I'm glad I didn't. Give up I love my house. wife. So, I, these aren't the most sticky. No, but, but we're still going. Oh. Um, let's see. Oh, exercise. I put guitar because I know how to play guitar too. But did you stick up. with it? Uh, I stuck with it enough. I'm yeah. not as good as you, but okay. Oh, um, man. singing. Uh, I can lead worship, and I love doing that. Um, cooking yeah. food. It was something I didn't know how um, to do, and I learned how to do it. I'm just gonna go in general living. I am still alive. <laughs> so there's that. Managing money. Um, it's not easy. You gotta stick with it and learn it. Coronation. Uh, we are still doing it right now, and I haven't given up. Coronation. Yes. I'm doing it with you. Um. Let's how see. do we know who wins? Uh, I am still alive. Therefore, it means that I still eat. Mo, so I, I'm eating. Grass. I, 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 <laughs> you gotta push them real hard on there. Eating. I, just, I haven't given up eating. Um, you know what? Leadership. Uh, oh. I didn't give up on that one. Uh, things that I still do every day. Using a phone. Oh. Um, let's see. I, uh, I'm taking some of how you do it. Breathing. I didn't give up on that's true. breathing. Being. Uh, Corey's. Friend. Uh, I, I started it. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't stopped. Shaving my face. Um, Twitter. <laughs> working at uh, So Hills. 13 years, Corey. Making this list. Yeah. I, I wanted to give up a second ago, <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> um, I'm. I'm done. Beating Andrew! <laughs> Good game, Andrew. That so, was fun. determination, deciding it's worth it to finish what, what you started. This was a fun game. Uh, it's a messy game. Someone's gonna have to come clean these up. The loser of the game? Uh, children. Children. There you go. Don't give up on parenting. That's right. Alright, so let's continue learning about determination. Let's. I feel like I still have post and it's on me, but I don't. Um, let's turn things over to the one thing that we want you to learn today. Let's jump in. Hey there, I'm 
Lawson, and we are celebrating 45 rocking awesome episodes of this show. Do the confetti! No, no confetti. You know how much of a mess that is to clean up. But, but Mom, we recorded 45 whole shows. There are 44. You've barely even started this one. <gasps> Uh, right. Guess we to get started, to get finished, to celebrate. So today, we're celebrating my friend Tamir's sister, Kira, and how she just finished something big. Kira just found out about this amazing summer soccer camp, so she begs her parents to let her go. But it's kind of expensive. Like super expensive. Like super duper expensive. Dad says the only way that Kira can go is if you pay for half of it yourself. And Kira says, pay for it with what? Because it's not like she's made of money. And mom says, I know a way you can earn the money. Their older neighbor, Mrs. Bonifante, can't get around so well anymore. And she needs some help spring cleaning her kitchen. Kira's like, go! Because how hard can it be to spiff up a few things for Mrs. Bonifante, right? Kira's neighbor says all Kira needs to do is throw out anything expired in the fridge or pantry. Especially if it's growing stuff. Then Kira needs to wash and put away all the dishes and scrub every kitchen surface. Then, Mrs. Bonifante pats Kira on the shoulder and says, Bless your heart, sweetie. And leaves Kira alone with the mess. The stuff in the fridge is so old, Kira's pretty sure there's something alive in there. But she takes a deep breath and she grabs the first thing she sees. It looks like cheese. Green cheese, ooh, maybe from the moon. Five minutes in, she is ready to give up now. She tells herself, think soccer camp. So this time, she gives it all she's got. And in three hours and 57 minutes, she's finally done. Mrs. Bonifante shouts, go! And then she pays Kira for all her hard work. And Kira shouts, go! Cause it's exactly the right amount for her to go to camp. Then mom and dad show up and they all pull out their vivazuvalivas to celebrate. <laughs> Remember, never do this at home, but do remember that determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Like episode 45. Ooh, can we celebrate with confetti now? Please, 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 please. Oh, Lawson. What? It's better than more of a... Better than more of a... This. Right? Fine. But you gotta clean it up. Okay, okay. Bye guys! See you next time! Woo! Let's see, Corey sent me this video today. Let's see. Alright, Coronacation, it is time for a game. Now, Andrew has been on a roll winning all of these games and even making some games now. And so we're switching things up. You never know what to expect. Tucker Music, today I am challenging you to a game. Now, I sorted through all of the game possibilities and there was one that just stood out to me as a game that like maybe you could be the expert in. Let me pull up the title because I, I don't want to miss it. it. It's called <laughs> Sun's Out, Bud's Out. Now this is a hot dog trivia question game. Good luck, um, answer along with him, Coronacation. And let's see if you can beat Tucker Music in this trivia game all about the hot dog. So ketchup is the most popular hot dog condiment, true or false? I'm gonna go with false because I'm a big mustard person. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, I'm right. Mustard, mustard is the most popular ketchup or more popular than ketchup. 
In New Zealand, they do not eat hot dogs and buns, but typically on a stick. New Zealand's weird. I'm gonna go with true for this one. Oh, two for two. They batter it up and eat it more like a corn dog. Okay. Between Memorial Day and Labor Day, Americans Americans consume seven million hot dogs. That's a lot of hot dogs. But I'm gonna say false because I think it's so much more. And it's oh, it's false. Seven billion. The Coney Island record for most hot dogs and buns eaten are 72 in 10 minutes. Ooh. I'm gonna say false. I think it's ah. I knew it was that guy. I knew it was it. Uh, whatever. Hot dogs have been eaten in space. I'm gonna say false for this one. That just doesn't seem like astronaut food to me. Oh my! True. Apollo 11. Whatever. Okay. The largest seller of hot dogs is 7-Eleven. Ooh. That's a gas. I'm gonna go false with this one. I've been over two these past two. True? They sell over a hundred million hot dogs a year. The world's most expensive hot dog is $89. I'm gonna say false. I think it's a lot more than $89. Ooh, yes! $169 for one hot dog? Oh, there's mushrooms, uh, foie gras. Okay, that's a very fancy hot dog. The longest hot dog ever made is a thousand feet long. That's a, I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say false for that one again. Again. Yes, false. 669 feet. Oh, Paraguay. Okay. A businessman coined the phrase hot dog in 1901. I'm gonna say true for this one because that doesn't look like a hot dog at all. I think it's just a phrase, so true. No. <laughs> Heard vendors selling red hot dashing sausages at a baseball game and he drew a cart. Oh, it's based on a cartoon? Mickey Mouse made a living selling hot dogs. Who? False. I don't think that's. I don't think that's true. False. It's true. Mickey Mouse is shown as selling hot dogs at a carnival. Well, guys, thank y'all for playing. Suns out, buns out. I really appreciate. Um, tell it. Tell us if you got more than me right. I think I was around 50%. Um, that's not a good passing grade. So guys, thank y'all for tuning in for Coronacation. We will see you guys tomorrow.